the technology for our dispatchers and our police to have it, but we also have to make sure that they're trained to use it so that you know exactly how to use it. Now at 7, working to fix the problem. Thank you so much for joining us for 9 on your side at 7 o'clock. I'm Craig McKee. Kristen has the night off. Apple is announcing some new technology that could help save someone's life. And that announcement comes on the same day that Cincinnati Council member Amy Murray heads to Nashville to help with the troubled 911 call center in Cincinnati. Nine on your side is Ashley Zilka joining us live now at City Hall with what Murray hopes to do over the next several days. Ashley? Craig, we spoke with Councilmember Amy Murray here at City Hall right before she left for Nashville. She should be there in about any moment. Now she will spend the next few days there at a conference. Murray says it's all about improving the 911 Center here at home. And it's really to prevent, you know, anything like a Kyle Plush incident, anything. We've had other incidents, too, where it just should not be happening. Since the death of Kyle Plush in April, Councilmember Amy Murray has searched for solutions to the long running problems at the city's 911 center. She even recently shadowed call takers and dispatchers on a 12 hour shift. I think sometimes the technology, the computer stalls, freezes. That's very frustrating. Now Murray will go to the National Emergency Number Association Conference in Nashville to get a look at what other cities across the country are doing. There's a lot that talk about next generation technology. Um, there's one that talks about using drones. We want to be at the cutting edge because we need to be saving lives. So if drones help that, then maybe that's the direction we head to. Another tool 911 centers could soon use. Apple announced it's releasing a feature that will send emergency responders an instant and exact location when someone calls for help. With all that we've been doing with our 911 center lately, it just seems like a great opportunity to go and learn more about what we can be doing differently, better, the same. Now Murray will come back to Cincinnati on Wednesday and give a full report at the next law and public safety meeting. There are also two outside companies currently investigating Plush's death. Reporting live at City Hall, Ashley Zilka, nine on your side. Ashley